as we know praise party is an eve of thanksgiving last year was tough but it was god's mercy that sustained us through this pandemic as magnificat band we always offer our praises and thanksgiving to jesus through our beloved mother as we start our songs of praises we offer them to jesus through our beloved mother
voices Escape roots from reality Misguided love and charity Have we faltered? We fit in and occupy Design our roles and alibis What does all this signify? How we faltered? Yo, we living in a world of something our cravings I'll be losing our clarity, how we falter Life's so mechanic, chaotic and myopic The single bit do we get it? Wait for where you're living, we go Rise right out, it's a new sound Sort of freestyle, bro, that's the life I find not a pro, just so you know I'm not a holy joke, against the flow I will go Rise out, it's a new sound Obligatory profanity Our gods are celebrities Everything's just vanity Break away, my friend Fact is wrapped in all sins of doctor Reckless love is all vanity factor Stopping up a mountain of worldly systems Taking to the another level, killing others where we go Love me.
in John 3.16 God so loved the world And he gave his only begotten son His name is Jesus of Nazareth And that whosoever believes in him Should not perish But have eternal life And man, Jesus died for you I know it sounds crazy Man, God loves you And on the third day God raised him from the dead Saved us from the hell So let's shout it out for Jesus One, two, three, four The sea is risen from the day Saved you and me from the hell So how can you live without your Savior? Hi everyone, hello. My name is Nevin, Nevin Jimmy, and I'm a full timer in Divine Mercy Fellowship Ministry. Today, I want to share with you my story about how I met God, especially His amazing grace came across me and helped me to overcome many problems in my life. When I was 16 years old, I was diagnosed with a disease called ulcerative colitis. I was just 16 at that time. And the doctor told me one in 10,000 kids will only have them. At that time, I believed I was the chosen one. But then later on, I came to know that the disease was at its severe peak. At the final stage, the next stage would be colon cancer. I was too depressed when I heard that. I thought of giving up my whole life. Nothing made sense anymore. I was always frustrated, angry, especially to my parents. I didn't like whatever they did to me. That's when I went to study in an engineering college. And I was very bad at my studies. I failed all my papers, literally all of them. My depression grew so much that I believed there was absolutely no hope for me. I was on anti-depression medicines, anti-tension medicines. I even had my IQ test done once again. I really thought I was dumb. I was not normal. But then by the grace of God, especially my mom's prayers, I came across a man who had similar issues like mine. He also failed in many papers. But then he mentioned to me about Jesus and how that amazing grace of Jesus helped him overcome almost all his obstacles during that time. Hearing this, I was like, what, how, how can this happen? Is there a God like that? And I started believing in it. I started having hope and started putting my hope in Jesus. From then on, by the help of the ministry, the fellowship, the community, that the love that they shared with me was so good. It was not an overnight success. It took a long time. It took years. And as we know, God told St. Paul, my grace is sufficient for you and my power is fully manifested in your weakness. I believed in it. I clinched it. And I started believing that even though I'm weak, even though I have a lot of pain and a lot of sufferings, His grace is enough. His grace will lead me through. And amazingly, He did. Right now, 
I have no medications. I used to stammer a lot back then, but now I'm not. I have even started passing all my papers by his help, by his grace, and obviously his mercy. Maybe you're the one who's going through a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, and you want to give up. Maybe you even thought of suicide. But this is the message of hope for you that God loves you and his amazing grace will always be with you. May you have a wonderful, blessed, graceful, amazing new year. May the grace of Christ be always with you. God bless. to the stars where you found me I'm coming back to your heart I surrender take me this is all I can bring
ते मेरे खिलाफ जब शत्रु के जलते तीर या जब दुश्मन ले आता मुझको बांध ने संजीर तू ठाल बन कर मेरे करता हर एक तीर तबाह तेरे नाम से ही हो जाता हर एक संजीर खनाश महामामी जा भी तो ना या जो कुछ भी दुनिया में हो मुझे छू भी सके मेरे पास भी आए जब तू है तो अनहोना मेरे देखा पर का जान लिया तुझको मैंने अपना मान लिया तेरे होते हुए मुझे आज भी ऐसा होने ना दे तूने ठान लिया ईमान भी तू चट्ठान भी तू मेरे दिल और मेरी जान भी तू तू दे दी जो जीत मुझे उस जश्न का ऐलान भी तू बिगाऊंगा चिल्लाऊंगा जी भर की खुशी मनाऊंगा लहरों पे चलते कदमों के निशान तेरे मेरे शान तेरा सर झुका मुझ पर तेरा बस ना चल सका ऐसा कोई शस्त्र ना बना जो कर सके ना मेरा सामना बीमारी दे तेरा सर झुका मेरा भरोसा तुझ पे खड़ा है मेरा विश्वास तुझ में तुझ में बना है तुझ में ही है We are an altar of broken stones But you delight in the offering You have the heavens to call your home But you abide in the song we sing Ten thousand angels surround your throne To bring you praise I will never cease But hallelujah from here below Is still your favorite melody We Should the fire that once burned bright Become an ember my eyes can't see I will remember your sacrifice I will abide in
Revelation chapter 7 verses 10 and 12 says Salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the lamb Amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever Amen Salvation belongs to our God Who sits upon the throne And unto the Lamb Praise and glory, wisdom and thanks Honor and power and strength Be to our God
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My dearest brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, a warm welcome to Praise Party 2022. So once again, by the amazing mercy and grace of God, we have reached the end of 2021. We are blessed to see one more year. Even though the world is going through a very tough time, of course, by the impartation or the, by the sufferings of Corona, by the power of this great pandemic, the world has suffered a lot. But in spite of all these things, heaven has something very special has restored for each one of us. That is why we are listening to this message from heaven. So we know we have reached this point not by our merit, it is by the mercy of God. So we know there are so many people rich people, intelligent people, and uh, very good people. They were not able to see 2022, but by the God's mercy, we were able to stand in the eve of 2022. So with a humble heart, let us listen to what the heaven has to tell us in this coming year. What is the new year message that the Spirit of the Lord wants to tell us? We know one thing, the word of the Lord which is for 2022 is Romans 5 chapter 5 verse 20 the word says but where sin increased grace abundant all the more this is the word of the Lord that the Holy Spirit is giving to us what is the meaning of this word there are two aspects the Spirit want to emphasize about what is going on in this world and is what is going to happen in 2022. We need to know both of these things. And first side is the sins of the world. We know the whole humanity, the whole world is suffering because of so many calamities, both natural and man-made calamities have struck the world. One is Corona, the other one is the almost 60-70% of the world is going through natural calamities flood and earthquake and all kinds of problems are happening so the world leaders and the scientists and the intellect of the world says all these things are happening because of one problem that is global warming is it true no bible says it is not global warming of course there is a slight element of global warming is there but there is something much greater than that that is what the scripture says the sins of the world there are two sins very crucial make a very crucial role for all what is happening in this world the two sins which brought God's wrath or all kinds of natural calamities in this world one is of course abortion shedding the innocent blood the next one is homosexuality lesbianism Almost 90% of the world has accepted these two evil. They have legalized it. And you know what happens when the world accepts and rejects God's commandments and the world moves against the nature, the nature will react. You can see it is in the Bible that every time humankind, mankind moved against nature and God, you see nature reacted and nowadays we can see the nature reacts the scientist says it is global warming no they can only say like that because science has a limitation science can say something about what human eyes and mind can understand only those things science can speak about but we, the truth is that there is a different realm in this world which is called the spiritual realm there is something which is beyond human understanding that is we call the spiritual realm or spirituality and there we know the Bible says God says there are certain things which the human understanding and eyes cannot understand and absorb it as the scripture says the righteous live not by sight but by faith okay because if we believe in what your eyes teaches you 
what your mind understand you will fall into all kinds of trouble that is what has happened to this world today because the science says everything is going well we have reached moon we have reached mars and it is going to be all everything is going to be well that is what the scientists and the world said till 2020 okay all of a sudden a great calamity came into this world because we know there are certain truths beyond human understanding and god wants you to know this truth precious children of god you should know this truth and this truth says the sins of the world is increasing actually it is multiplying and i believe i don't have a a, a great uh, message for you for 2022 because i know what is going to happen in 2022 2022 will not be much better than 2021 why because the sins of the world is increasing these kinds of sins are increasing when these kind of sins increases what happens the relationship between god and human beings will be broken and shattered when this relationship between god and mankind broke will be broken what happens disaster occurs especially when people moves against the nature the nature will definitely react and we can expect more natural calamities and problems in 2022 so what do we do you don't have to be worried and afraid of what is going to happen in 2022 because heaven has something very special for you what is that heaven has prepared a very very special blessing for us on 2022 what is that in the book of Ephesians st. Paul speaks about the blessings what we must seek in the coming years okay so heaven will not give us material benefits okay material blessings that era is over because everything which is natural and material is going to be removed year after year will be destroyed year after year in the coming years okay what remains is the heavenly blessings that is why this word is very important in Ephesians 1 chapter 1 verse 3 says blessed be God the father of our Lord Jesus Christ who in Christ has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places okay God has blessed us abundantly in Christ Jesus with all the spiritual blessings of heaven among these spiritual blessings the most important blessing that God heaven want to give you is the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ heaven is not going to bless you with material blessings for 2022 because all these wealth and gold or silver whatever it is the worldly things which that will not have the ability to protect you and promote you from what is going to happen in 2022 okay as we know the sin increases the calamities the relationship breaks and disaster occurs we can expect more disaster and challenges in 2022 where your gold and silver will not help you to overcome it the only thing which has the ability to help you or to help you to overcome the challenges of 2022 is the grace and mercy of God so what do we do to attain this grace this is the most important message we need to understand Cardinal Vanthuan, you heard about Cardinal Vanthuan. He says, God's mercy and grace has flowed abundantly into this world in a very particular moment. You know what is that moment? When the Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of this universe, made himself enslaved on a wooden piece by three nails. That is the moment. God's mercy and grace flowed, outpoured into this world. The sufferings of our Lord Jesus Christ, the pain and sufferings of Jesus Christ, when he offered it to the, uh, on the cross of Calvary to the Heavenly Father, that is the moment the God's mercy and grace flowed into this world. Today, every disciple of Jesus, heaven says, you also have to do the same thing in order to bring forth God's mercy and grace into this world. When we offer our sufferings, because we know Corona has brought a lot of pain and sufferings and disasters into our lives, and 
Apart from Corona, there are a lot of other wars and other natural calamities also there. I just want to mention one thing in between this. Because as I spoke about the sins of the world, you know, 90% of the world countries have accepted this uh, abortion and uh, homosexuality they have legalized. That is the I told you that is the reason why the natural calamities are happening in this world. But you can see one very important aspect. The natural calamities are very less, comparatively less in Islamic countries and Jewish countries. Why? Because they have never accepted this law as they have never legalized it. They have never taken it part of their constitution. But the rest of the world, India and Europe and America, all these countries, the rest of the world has accepted this greatest sin. They have legalized it. That is why the nature is reacting. But there is a problem in the Islamist countries and Jewish countries. There is a lot of war and other kinds of problems. And I'm not, we don't want to touch that, but there is less natural calamities. So what we need to do is that the world is going to face tremendous challenges coming, coming here. But heaven wanted to give you special graces to overcome these challenges. And God wants to you to become a blessing in this dying world. How can you become a blessing in 2022 for this world? When we offer the pain and sufferings and losses of this year, of course, I know 2021 made a lot of uh, problems and challenges and losses in our lives. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disappointed. Don't murmur and complain against God. Accept it from the hands of God and offer it on the cross of Calvary and through the passion suffering of Jesus Christ, offer it to the Heavenly Father and ask your Heavenly Father to bless this world, especially the people who do not know this wonderful God and His mercy, people who reject this mercy. We need to pray for them and ask our Heavenly Father to bless them. In the diary of Saint Faustina, Jesus has given her a promise. My child, I will bless this world because of you. For what you have done for me. Because you have given me enough thanks and praise for all the blessings I have given to you. But this world has never done it and they have never acknowledged my mercy and love. But when you are ready to acknowledge the blessings I have given to you, for your sake, I am ready to bless the world which has rejected me. What a merciful God. The same way, the same promise is applicable to us. When we are coming to the, we are entering into the 2022, we also have to do the same thing. We need to offer the pain and sufferings and losses of 2021 and 20 to the, to the merciful Father through the passion and death of Jesus Christ. And pray to your heavenly Father to bless this world. Okay, this is the only way the 2022 will be, the world will survive. Okay. When you do that, heaven will give you a special blessing. That is the abundant grace. With that grace, we will be able to do what all things that God wants you to do in 2022. In your life and in your family and in your business and in all the aspects of your life. We need this grace. So for that, what we need to do is that we need to encash the sufferings and pain and losses of this year. In the book of Bible, we hear about a, a beautiful parable about the kingdom of God. Where it speaks, Jesus speaks about a, a merchant, a diamond merchant. He has a lot of precious diamonds. Okay. When once he found a very valuable diamond, what he did is he sold all his diamonds and he purchased that very precious diamond. This is the same uh, principle which is applicable for the grace also. We need to encash the sufferings and pains and losses of 2021 for that amazing grace for 2022. Okay. So when we offer happily, with joy, with all kinds of faith, when we offer our pain and sufferings to God the Father, and when you pray to bless this world, God will give graces into your life. Okay. This grace is what we need. We don't need gold and silver. We don't need any kind of material blessings for 2022. For you and your children, what you need is grace. This grace is available. That is what we see. Okay. There is tremendous potential in suffering is there. 
okay we see it in the in the story of the three young men in a burning furnace okay they were able to praise and glorify god in the midst of a a seven time hotter furnace and god's grace came into them and they became a blessing to babylon the same way daniel in den of a lion he was able to offer that pain and sufferings to god and that brought tremendous grace into his life same way joseph in the old testament while he was in the prison he offered his sufferings and brought graces into his life the same way is a great opportunity for us to offer our pain and sufferings through the cross of jesus and grace will come into you and by this grace you will become a blessing like david and joseph and these three young men you will become a blessing to this dying world okay this is what the heaven is waiting for us so let us prepare ourselves and just bring into your mind what are the things which is which makes you sad or depressed or make you suffer accept it from the hands of god knowing that it is a treasure when you come into the end time of 2021 the losses we need to understand what is the real loss it is not the financial loss it is not the loss of your health or your job that is not the loss what we need to understand the real loss is we fail to convert these great treasures into graces okay that is what is the true loss of a christian so there is tremendous potential in sufferings and pain and that is what jesus has shown us that is what all the godly men in the old testament showed given us a great example so let us collect everything which the world has offered us okay it is not from god god never punishes us god never destroys human life but god allows why because there is a treasure in all this pain and suffering let us collect it and offer it to god and pray to our heavenly father a merciful god to bless this world heaven will respond it in spite of all these sins what is happening in this world god's mercy will come to this world in 2022 at the same time god will pour out that amazing grace that abundance of grace into your life through this grace you and your family will lead an extraordinary life in 2022 amen god bless you and let us come for a small worship when we come to worship let us offer this pain and sufferings and losses to our lord jesus through our lord jesus christ to our heavenly father so that heaven will bless this world in 2022 in spite of all the sinfulness of this world our father will bless us and this world so that we will become the salt and light of this world the world is waiting for us as we read in scripture romans 8:19 the whole world is going through frustration and is waiting for the revelation of god's children we are god's children who believes in jesus christ who has accepted him as lord and savior we are the people called the children of god and only we can do this and this will bring forth tremendous blessing in this world and thus you and your family will be saved the people around the world will be saved so let us pray and make a beautiful sacrifice of praise to heavenly father through a small session of worship let us offer it okay god bless you and wish you a blessed 2022 for you and your family and world is waiting for your praise amen god bless you as we heard this is the time to end cash our sufferings into graces as the young men in the furnace of a burning fire daniel in the lion's den joseph in jail their sufferings they have transformed they are converted into amazing graces my dear brothers and sisters this is the time we are going to offer all the sufferings and pains our losses in 2021 to our wonderful god along with the sufferings of jesus so that it might be converted into amazing grace and god the father will bless this wonderful world with his mercy 
to Saint Faustina. Jesus given a beautiful promise. My child, I'll bless this world because of you. Even though the world does not recognize me and acknowledge my mercy and love. Just because you are ready to give thanks and praise to me for all the blessings I've given in this world, I will bless this world. Yes, we are the people who can make a change in this dying world. For all this, what we need to do, just offer him a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. In Romans 8.28, the scripture says, We know that in everything God works for our good, for those who love Him, whom He has called according to His plan and purpose. There is a God who can turn everything for our good, all the pain and sufferings of the last year. God will convert it into grace and mercy. So all we need to do, lovingly, with a cheerful heart offer our pains and sufferings to our wonderful God along the pains and sufferings of Jesus. Let us bring forth the blessings of heaven and let so that we can restore, we can bring down amazing blessings for 2022. Come, let us worship a wonderful God who is full of mercy. Jesus suffered on the cross of Calvary even though he was the creator and the Lord of this universe he allowed himself to be enslaved by three nails on a wooden cross he offered all his sufferings and pain to the Heavenly Father that is a moment the world was filled with mercy and grace 
all his children are called to do the same thing when we offer our sufferings and pain through the sufferings of Jesus heaven will be reopened one more time and God's mercy will flow into this world so that 2022 will be a blessed year for the human race let us continue to offer a sacrifice of praise to this wonderful father
love them, Lord. We worship you for them, Lord, so that your mercy flow into their lives, Lord, and they might be blessed by amazing mercy, Father. God works for our good in every situation. We are going through a very tough situation. There are a lot of pains and sufferings in this world. But one thing we know, in everything, God works for our good, for those who love Him. Yes, this is a time we need to express our heartfelt love to a wonderful God. For all the people in this world, those who love him, those who persecute him, those who ill-treat him, those who dishonor him, we are going to offer a beautiful worship of love so that his mercy will come down, his grace will fill your hearts. This grace will bring forth all the power and wisdom to do what God wants you to do in next year. So let us encash all the sufferings into graces.
lost walk in the wayside Lost on a lonely road I was chasing the high life Trying to satisfy my soul All the lies I believed in Left me crying like the rain Then I saw lightning from heaven And I never be the same Yeah Bad. 
Never be the same, my eyes forever change I know the old me is over and buried in the grave I don't care what they say cause I'll never be ashamed of It's love that save me 180, the dark that's never fading So now drop your hands if you know who they are 